Alright guys, what's up? Today is the day we are off to Tasmania, but first I wanted to show you our little budget baller suite that we got. Luke, how much did we pay for this place? 270 Australian dollars, so probably less than 200 US. And check out how rad this place is. Uh, I guess we'll, sh we'll show the view real quick. This is like downtown Melbourne, right? Yeah, South Melbourne. But yeah, that's downtown Melbourne right in front of you. Look at how wild this is. And then when we catch the ferry, it's like straight over there. Yeah? See the water? So you guys remember last time we took a ferry to Mexico from Australia? This time we're taking the ferry to Tasmania. It's like a 12 hour boat ride, I think. And, and we're going to be on it overnight. This one goes on water. That's sick. So yeah, we literally get the ferry from over there. And yeah. And that's where I was staying, way over there. This thing's bigger than my house. It's yeah. actually got more floor space than my house. What's the favorite thing in the place? Show me. That's pretty baller. Yeah. So. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's like the 13th time you've done that. Yeah. So walking through the hallway. This place is wild. So for like, this would have been like 200 US dollars. It has this room in here, which would be like a suite at a normal hotel room with a bed and its own like little shower and bathroom. But wait, there's more. It's got this random little room. It's like basically a giant apartment. Then there's this bedroom, which we found has a secret bathroom behind this door because you don't see it because of the way it opens. And then it's got a king room. Look at how wild this is. Hey Luke, why do you think it's so cheap? Like, would this be a cheap apartment to live in in Melbourne, or is this just a random deal? No, it would not be cheap. I think I just found a really good deal. Ah. I have no idea why. It's a good area, it's not ghetto, there's no junkies out the front. Like, it's actually a really good place. Like, I, I have no idea why it's so cheap. Ah, oh, there goes our light. It's my life being a piece of shit. Because <laughs> if this were New York City, this would be probably, just, like, to live in something, this would be millions. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, well, yeah. I'm just trying to think why it'd be so cheap. I know that we are members and do book a lot of accommodation with that site, so mm -hmm. I know that we do get a pretty heavy discount. Tiana, do you remember how, did, did it say the actual price the place normally is? It's just under 900. Okay, so it's normally quite, a, it's normally three times the price. Yeah, but even 900 still, that would be like 600 US. That's not bad at all for something this big. Yeah, for three big rooms, bathrooms in every single room. Way cooler than three normal hotel rooms. Oh, 100%. All right, so now we're off to Tassie. Today's been the day of doing some ghetto fixes real quick on the S13 to try to get it all good for the Tasmania event. So, made a little overflow for the catch can, a little ghetto fix for the hood stop. Spent some time getting all the tail lights working, a lot of the bulbs and stuff and wires got shorted out. All right, we're doing roll cage. Yeah, just hammer that in as much as you can because we're like fighting the, the edge of sheet metal there, so I can't get the nut on. Where's the dinky hammer? Hey, he's got one. Yep. Thanks. Fix it with a hammer, John. Is there any chance to get more? <laughs> There's plates underneath the cage. Yes. What are you talking about, Luke? It, Luke, this is really, really hard for me because I have like super OCD with cars. So like, this has been a mental challenge to not care, especially just for like two events. Like, this is. My, I'm having internal battles with my mind this entire time. He's so young, much to learn. Yeah, but no, I'm already old in mine though. That's the problem, like, a young person shouldn't care about this stuff. No, I think you care more when you're younger because you have energy and it's like something you want to spend your time on and get it right. Once you get older, your fuck's given a far less. And this is an Australian thing. For me though, I think the older that I get, the more experience I have and the more I learn like how to do things right. Yeah, so I'm I do. the same as that. But you yeah. gotta die one day, right? Yeah, but yeah, I, I want to die from something cool. Well, flipping a car is pretty fucking Can cool. Can we not talk about that? <laughs> is it for safety? Yeah. Do you, I don't know. Do you think this cage will do anything? Of course oh, it will. Yeah. Even how we just installed it? Have you seen how, like, you, not, well, you, how much these cars don't do? You got plates Rolling on is pushing down. Shibby. Shibby, mate. Shibby. Just a little bit loaded up with stuff in here. To the brim. This is kind of weird weather wise because Melbourne's usually way cooler than Brisbane, right? Yeah, usually. So this 
this this would be like the Connecticut and then Brisbane would be like the Florida so it's weird that it's so hot right now um, have you ever been on the boat yeah I have no idea what to expect do you think I'm gonna like it uh, yeah it's pretty fun when you got mites on there and stuff as well I've heard mixed reviews Luke's saying that's all this fun and then I'm hearing from other people that it's a nightmare so I don't know it, it does depend on what they do as well whether they got a cabin or whether they got just a seat or whether they took their car on there and stuff like that as well Oh, are we going to scrape the bar? Bar means bumper, by the way. That's Australian. Yeah. Uh, We're almost there, though. You're not far off. That thing's legit! I was picturing just like a, a fancy barge with a little bar on it. No, nah, it's we like... Can drive our cars on that? Yeah. What? It's like, uh, it takes like big semi-trucks on it as well and everything. How much does it cost to like go on it with your car? Uh, I think we got it pretty good. Um, I think ours was like... Around about just over a thousand bucks for all four of us and two cars. Interesting, that's not bad. It's all a thousand dollars Australian. I'm pretty excited about this. Yeah, it's pretty cool, eh? Like we. I'm with them. Any firearm, any weapon, any munitions? What? Any firearm, any weapon, any munitions? No. So you may can't. Are we on the boat now, or is this just? No, nah, this is a boat. This is just to the boat. I'm so excited. Boat's right there, bruh. I remember when I was a kid, my favorite animal was the Tasmanian devil. Really? Yeah. So this is like a this is huge for me. Yeah. This is big. Like so, you say, like you're saying, like you just like Googled it and stuff, or what? Adam, uh, Tasmanian devil. No, like the cartoon. Oh. Not like yeah. the actual thing. Yeah, I'm telling the same as me. Yeah, it was the best. I yeah. Had, I had him in my bathroom. I think I used to have a teddy of him. Did you? Yeah. I dressed up as him as Halloween. By the way, happy Halloween. Oh yeah. Woo! How much, I, how, I much actually do, how much do you do a fat skin in here right now? Uh, <laughs> we'll probably go to jail. <laughs> we'll definitely be on a current affair for that. Let's do a rev dose. Look at this. Yeah bro. Are we on the boat now? Nope. When will we know that we're on the boat? But you'll see it. You'll know where we're going. I never thought I'd be on the boat with a welded diff car. Underneath it, dependent. Because there's also, you see that bottom deck? Down the bottom there where those white rails are? Dude, my, this clutch is like, it's starting to get really stiff. Yeah. Just like waiting here. I'm really concerned that when we're on there, it might slip and we might end up doing a fat third gear burnout by accident. Yeah, it's, yeah. Do you think Luke would be stoked or mad? Luke would probably laugh, but... I think he'd be really stoked but really sad because then we'd miss the Tazzy event. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking about it. Because we you know. because we got kicked off the boat. Yeah. It's, the car wants it. I'd want it too, but I don't really want to get kicked off the boat. What are they going to do? Ban me from Australia? <laughs> that's already... <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I'm really curious how low car friendly this boat's going to be. Yo! How you. sick is this? Whoa. Oh my helmet! I'm so excited! I'm so excited! Are we gonna get drunk, Bryce? Is that what we're gonna do on the boat? Yeah. Sick. Far out. Joke's on you because I can't get drunk. It's impossible. You was drunk on Saturday the other weekend. No, I'm immune to alcohol. Really? I don't believe in it, so it doesn't affect me. <laughs> I wish I was immune to alcohol then. This seems just like a cruise ship. Congratulations, congratulations. If you guys get this meme, then I'm sorry, because it's very sad, but congratulations. What for? Don't worry about it. Oh boy. It's bigger than the, uh, oh fuck. This is sick. I'm pumped. Who's, stay who's staying where? Wherever. Luke, can we push our beds together? Well, to be fair, when we took this last time, we put, oh no. No, it was going from Oh the no, UK we went from the UK to Paris, we got the two mattresses up and put them on the floor so we could cuddle. That's and adorable. Husband and wife cuddles. The seas were so rough that the bathroom door swung open and smashed me in the head. 
So, <laughs> Luke probably knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> so we're going on the boat tour right now. I'm looking for bingo. That's my favorite thing about cruise ships. The bar. <laughs> yeah, the ba. <laughs> Where the sheep at, yo? <laughs> wow. Okay, so when I was a kid, I hated cruise ships. My mom would go on them. All I would do is just play the games. I would be the king of every single game in the arcade. I would spend so much money. It's like a prequel to my gambling it's addiction. Tonight, man. Oh, dude, you're going down. Just happens to be four, but is that a 34 GDR? Is that a Evo? Is that a Mustang? A Japanese burnout car. And a 34 GDR. That'd be sick, eh? Look at this. We're uh, playing the game to see who's going to buy the first round of drinks. Who do you think is going to win? I have a feeling it's going to be me or Luke. She's shifty, man. Yeah? It's a dog box, dog. Dang, dang, dang. My machine's up. Oh, there we go. That was so close. Poor Lancer. Yeah. It was sick, dude. The GTR was like fast as the Cornish for sure. That was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. How crazy is it to think that we have our drift cars right there? That's wild. How good is it? I'm trying to think of something that compares to how crazy this is, and I can't. Like, Japan was pretty wild, like being at Ebisu and having a car there and everything. But like, my cream car is on a boat going to Tasmania. That's sick. Where well, they've got two heads. Two heads? <laughs> is that a thing? Oh, that's that's the thing in Tassie. Everyone's got two heads and they like friend. to make up. 12 hours later. And we're here. Tasmania. Yeah. Did we establish that in the video yesterday? Was I being dumb? Uh, probably, yeah. Oh, you're trying to race, mate. So, uh, we're in Tasmania. What are we doing? Going to get breakfast? Yeah. So we kind of split up in Tassie. Me and Bryce went to go get this car line because it's driving like poop right now after the wreck. I think that's the place, but we're not sure. Maybe? So we were pretty close to what we thought it would be for the actual alignment specs being off after I got into that accident. But uh, one thing that's really, really interesting is A, how far off the toe is on one of the right rear wheels. But this is why my car felt so ridiculously fast. We had 20 mil of toe in, which would be the equivalent of like three quarter inch toe in um, with like US numbers. So that's a, about double what I run back home and why this car is probably so ridiculously fast. So another interesting thing about this that you guys might have noticed at Mountain Gambia, uh, this is actually a tactic that a lot of FD teams will use, having different toe on each sides, because you can actually get a little bit more aggressive left turns and be a little bit faster in left turns by running more toe in on the right. And if you have trouble with the car not being loose enough on right turns, you can take some toe out. This is really, really aggressive, but some teams do actually run different toe on each side to try to combat that. So we've been getting the alignment done at Bob Jane T-Marts. And we kind of unintentionally wound up having like a little SR drift car meet in the parking lot. And all I gotta say is it's making me want to put more SRs and things. Cause we've got kind of like four neat different examples of SR cars here. And Luke's gonna help me go through and give you guys a rundown on these builds. I'll show you guys the SR party. Yeah. So this is, this is sick. By the way, we'll go, we'll go from start can I drive it? You can definitely drive it. Okay, Brad. Everybody that's watching this, when they drive it, they go, yeah, that's cool. I'll be happy. So one of my friends back in the States has an SR R chassis and like loves it, swears by it. Can you confirm, since you had an RB in this, that so it transforms the car? I had this RB20 and I absolutely loved it. And I put, got this off the dyno last night, took it for a drive and a sneaky little couple of roundabouts on the way here and it is way different. You notice when you throw the car in, the whole front end weight feels different. Like it wants to swing different than it used to. That's the main thing I noticed. So have you driven like an S13 with an SR? So, yeah. I compare with the R chassis suspension with an SR? Uh, oh, the SR car I drove was like six, seven years ago, so I don't really yeah. remember. But going from I can tell you I've got an RB S13 as well and the noticeable difference in that yeah 
comparison between the two, just the, the way they throw the around. The cars pivot on mm -hmm. the front, yep. where these pivot more from the middle. I guess that makes sense, because what I was thinking is like, I love how my R chassis feels, and I don't know if that's because of the weight in front, or if it's because of the upper A-arm design, you know? Yeah, I, oh, they're, they're a superior design as far as like, the way a car should handle, they're just not as easy to get good lock out of. Correct, mm -hmm. yeah. yep, that's exactly what I say. It's a little bit more challenging when you get them right, I feel like it's a much better car but for like, that. You jump Minami in an S chassis, and it's like, yeah. you feel like you're gonna die, but mm -hmm. then you jump it in, an, uh, in a double wishbone setup, and it's not, it's far nicer. You know? Yep, yep. Like, Same thing with the Z's and the Chasers. Exactly right, yeah, yeah totally. But, but, so he's got a Mumba Chinese turbo setup, and makes 360 kilowatt. Is that in horsepower? No, 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 it makes 260, 260 kilowatt. It's like the same as my car, right? It's like 400 horsepower. So do you, do you have a dyno printout for yours or anything? Or and it's we have it, but yeah. whatever. Anyway, it's sick. He's lent the radiator back because he's got all the room in the world. That is sick. And yeah, just in my experience driving SR R chassis, they're fucking amazing. Sick. They're amazing. But yes, you can definitely drive it. Rad. All right, next up we have... Uh, yeah. While you play Ninja Bay, I'm just going to film his wheels all day. <laughs> Love these wheels. Is this where you're about to yeah. ask the filmer all the questions? What's up? Is this where you're about to ask the filmer all the questions? Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> Disco potato. It is. It Disco, Disco potato. potato. Um, it's got cams. Ooh. It's what got, size? Uh, ponds? Pond cams? Yeah, drop in? yeah, yeah. Cams, yeah. It'd just be a, top, it'd put a pond cam then. I know that it's solid, it's never given me trouble in like 80,000 Ks that I've owned it. I've resprayed it from red to grey, I've done all the bodywork. Metal head gasket? Um, yeah. Luke, do you think we'd have any benefit of putting pond cams in my car or nah, because we're so mild anyway? I personally don't see the point unless you're going like big dick on your SR with doing cams because then you start to run into the like rocker issues and stuff like that. True, yeah, I didn't think about that. But also too, on top of that as well, we're running a turbo at such low boost that we might start to sacrifice spool if we go to a bigger cam. Exactly. Oh, I think a pod cam, would, a pond cam would complement it, mm -hmm. but then for the money, like t the gains would be minuscule for the weight. It, it might be like yeah. 10 wheel up top. Yeah, it's, it really wouldn't be worth it as far as from my my perspective so anyway very cool and simple it looks, setup it looks Thank sick you. as hell yep and now the craziest car of them all which has an engine what about this one what oh yeah i forgot about that one knows about this yeah 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 g25 stuff stuff yeah is that g25 and nitto head gasket which is actually really good and arp head studs didn't want to we had to yep and a phoenix red it's good GTR airflow meter though. Yeah, that is I think pretty that's cool. A cool thing. No, I, I was geeking out about that before. Um, I don't know if I said this before in any of my videos about the car's head lifting on the dyno. Well, it wasn't lift. Apparently, the head was warped. So she'd obviously been pretty hot at some point. Yeah. So. Uh, same thing. Yeah. Warped head, it lifted wasn't head. Happy. Yeah. But this thing is the full big dick. All right. Show me your big dick. I'm trying to release the power. You, you made me put that on. He has, to, he has to retain the power. That's the proper big dick. Well, hold on. This right here is this what I need in my life. SR guys' dreams are made of. I know. It's... SR guys like have some dreams, big dreams about this stuff. So here, here's my thoughts on it. Everyone back home wants me to go VVL with my SR, but I'm scared because my car works so well yeah, and makes fun. such good power. What? Try sumped as well. Oh, because of because of the revs. Try, oh, you got fill up block. Yeah, fill up block. Yeah. No way. This is uh, MCI yeah. hammerhead. So motor. essentially, if you want to build this car, you just stand at the front of it and go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, how, much is a, how much is the How much is the billet block though? Um, I bought so the whole second hand. How much is the billet block second hand? I've never seen one come for sale. <laughs> so yeah. you got it given to you? I bought the whole motor, so okay. head, uh, block. Um, what do you pay for one of these things? I feel like I'd probably get a pretty good smack back, give it, you said. Give it a rough, rough. Are we talking over above, 10 grand? For a block, yeah. Above 15. How about no, 10? Huh. Oh, 10, that's cheap. I would do that all day. Yeah, yeah. That, why would you get smacked for that? If anyone was thinking about smacking him, don't smack him, that's freaking cheap. Hey, what's your PayPal? I got you right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that's a... 2.4 as well. Oh, really? So, yeah. Jeez. Why did you go, why did they go 2.5 with the VL? I forget, does the 2.4 still rev good? Yeah, yeah, it's revving it on now. So it's so it's board over two and it's stroke two, yeah. so it's a two point four and you can still rev it. Yeah. And has it been reliable? What does it make for power? Uh, so I made five hundred and fifteen kilowatt of the wheels. That's a lot of horsepower. How much? Seven hundred horsepower. Yeah. And it's probably pretty reliable in the setup, yeah. Uh, yeah, a little bit. We've had a few issues <laughs> with the standard valves, um, but the head itself's just bog stock, not ported stock valve. 
Um, so the valve train hasn't been awesome, but the engine itself has been super reliable otherwise. Have you run into any issues with a cavitation or any sort of like underdrive necessarily? Uh, or any sort of need for underdrive pulleys or anything with all the revs? Uh, You've so only got an alternator off there, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. So I had I drove for a team when we had a VVLSR and we were throwing everything. Yeah. We that... had massive underdrive on the power steering and everything and just just threw everything up. Just throw threw everything away. Like, yeah, 100%. So yeah, it went to electric water pump. Um, you have to for the block anyway. Um, but yeah. So electric water few. pump, electric power steer, obviously. And that, that was always my concern. Oh, like true. high revving stuff's really, really cool, but it starts to cause a lot of issues. What would you say? Probably once you start going over like eight grand, I feel like that's when it starts to get a little nutty. I think once you get to nine, yeah. nine is like when it'll just start spinning stuff. As soon as you're cracking the limiter at that revs, yeah. the harmonics and everything just tear everything apart. I rev my Jay-Z and my RB to eight and those have thrown belts. Yeah. So I can only imagine an extra thousand RPM. But the power band though is good. Yeah, so it makes a uh, 12 pound two and a half and it sort of is making a thousand newton meters of torque by about four, four and a half and it holds out all the way to nine, so. That's a huge power band. Yeah. That's, you know what, that, this thing is nearly as impressive as my stock LS. Yeah. With a big turbo on it. I don't know, man, though, like, I, like I, need, I need a car to put a VVLSR in, but the problem is I wouldn't want that much power in an S chassis. Like, I feel like it's too much for the chassis. For, for a competition car, yeah, but... Yeah, but this is a competition car. Yeah, no, I know, but I'm saying I wouldn't do it for a comp car. A it would car. be a fun car, a street yeah. car, and I think it would be terrifying to have that much power in an S chassis. I see the point in going VVL on a fun car, just because... Yeah. The sound. To use those revs, you need a turbo to suit, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, it's, it's revving so far. There's no point. You can't put a disco potato on a VVL. It's going to run out of puff at 7.5, and, and you've got another 2,000 RPM to use. I guess the best but, thing is, like, because you've got two sets of camshafts, like, prior to this, I had a solid head SR. Yeah. And it was fully ported, it had oversized valves, and I just did a full VE swap. This is obviously prior to this motor. And it just made more power the whole way. You know like what? At, at 2000 RPM, 4008, drivability, everything was way better. So the VVL, if you can afford it, I think kind of just plugs it. And it's more reliable because you can't pay off the numbers. You know what's really annoying about this too? Like, Mazworks is literally my neighbor. Like, they are 15 minutes from my house, and they are the VVL gods. And then my tuner is like, a specialty SR tuner, and I don't have a VVL SR so, in my life. You know what I think would be right? What? Is keeping a 1.6. So there's a guy in Europe who apparently under FIA rules, you have to be over 16 to be able to drive anything above a certain liter. So he actually competes in Greece and uses a 1.6 VVL, like the whole motor. No way. Yeah. So he uses the 1.6 bottom end with it. And it's got like, um, I think he had a uh, se sequential behind it. Like they, they've got plenty of money, but this thing makes 600 wheel. That's crazy. That's so like restricting the kids' leaderage, his parents were just like, yeah, we'll still make we'll all the power. <laughs> yeah, so. What gearbox are you running in this? A uh, Honda. Cool. I'm jealous of those. Are those those have got to be cheaper here because they're made here, right? Oh, fuck no. They're just expensive. But it's cheaper than the States. Probably not. You don't think? I don't think so. No, they're probably well, the same. What are they, like 20 grand Aussie? Yeah. Yeah, in the States I think they're like 22 US. I could be wrong, but yeah. I feel like they're way more expensive. No, they're more than... Uh, That's sick though. This is a cool car. Too, so yeah. I don't know if this will necessarily hold true in Tassie, but one thing that I've noticed in Australia is all the fruit and vegetables seem to be a lot cheaper than back in the States. My hypothesis is because we give a lot of subsidies for farmers to grow other things like wheat, our fruit is really expensive since we have to import it all, but they grow a lot of their own stuff. So like these blueberries, this box, 190 cents would be like $1.25 for one of these, and in the States, this same pack would be somewhere between four and five US. Austin eats like three of them a day. I know. I love blueberries and it is such an expensive addiction. What is that? Rock melon? Not cantaloupe. No, that's cantaloupe. But I noticed the same thing in Europe. I, th I, my, I think it's because of the subsidies in our government and because... So the they can get up to $4 a tray, which is still nowhere near as expensive as you guys. Yeah. In the off season, but yeah, like now they're quite cheap. That's insane. Yeah. I'd be buying these up. I think I'm gonna get a couple dozen. Fruit, fruit here in Tasmania is extra good. Sick. In the States, we spell feta with one T, but in Tasmania, they use two. Because they've got two hits. You literally stole the joke out of my mouth, and I'm really upset that now you get credit for that. Damn it. So in Australia, not a lot of places have air conditioning, so the common thing to do is to just come hang out in the beer caves yes. in the yeah, restaurants. It's nice in here. You just make a chair. 
That's cool. I feel like I'm gonna get yelled at for filming in here. No. I'm gonna have a, no, no. I'm gonna have a slide. This special. is what everyone loves to drink here. All CC and dry. All, All the drifters. drifters. It is pretty good, I'll give you that. What? Okay. I'm having so much fun here. Just like cruising around this little town and with our drift cars and everybody looking at me. I found out rather than trying to talk Australian, it's way more funny if I just talk really heavy American. So I'm like, thank you so much. Have a great day. Do you have any water? And <laughs> it makes people laugh way more than me trying to do a really bad Australian accent. So I think I found my new favorite pastime here. Yeah. Because I, think it, I think it's rather strange for an American to be here like street driving a drift car. Yeah, it is pretty out there. Anyway, so apparently the Tasmanian police have caught wind about the DCA event and or me being in town and they've put up posts all over their Facebook about extra patrol to counter hooning and they're encouraging all the pedestrians and like other normal people to have dash cameras to record any sort of hooning and report it. And apparently between where we are now and the track, there have been four undercover officers spotted. So the war against hooning is very real in Tasmania. If you're watching this and you're not here yet, be very careful. Like going through this red light right here, real bad idea. Real bad idea. Don't do that. <laughs> My car's whistling. Why is it whistling? Because of that turb ski. No, not that whistle. Silly. <laughs> All right. So for the end of the Tassie video, this is kind of obnoxious. This is not the end of Tasmania. This is the end of the video transporting the car to Tasmania. Very, very cool situation bringing the drift car on the boat. Tomorrow, you guys can expect to see a video at Simmons Plains Raceway or whatever it's called here. If you want to go check it out, I'll have details on my Instagram or the DCA Instagram. Come hang out. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I tried to do a little bit more vlogging of the behind the scenes stuff since I wasn't just at a racetrack all day filming racetrack stuff. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm um, having a blast for my last couple days in Australia and I'm very excited to drive the new track tomorrow and I'm very thankful for all of you guys and your support and the love on all the Australia videos and I will see you tomorrow. Yeah.